Nigel, three points, game in hand and three very much needed points tonight. You saw what it meant to the fans at the end. I think very hugely important uh, when you've only got three games to go. You've got to win your home games and we did that tonight. I thought the most important part of the evening was getting in at nil nil at half time. Yeah, they started really, really well and made it difficult for us in, in the first half. And just a quick word on James Perch tonight. He got booked early on, but he didn't let it phase him. He, he seemed solid and calm throughout. Yeah, that's the experience for you. When him and George Marius pick up early yellow cards, then it's a little bit of a concern. Uh, but they both never made a challenge after that. And they were never in danger of being sent off, which was important. We said to them at half-time, I think if you make one more, then we have to look at it. Uh, but they both played very sensibly and saw it through. Yeah, and a uh, comfortable job, uh, well done tonight, and uh, the, the goals again well taken. We saw it on Saturday about taking those set pieces and making them quick plays, did it with the corner and a well taken finish by George Lapsley. Yeah, it's something we've been encouraging the players. Uh, I think at this level there's a lot of, let's get the ball in the box, get the ball in the box every set play. Uh, we say just say to them, play what's on. And I think when you get players like Matty, Matty Longstaff and Jamie Murphy and they take the short corner and it leads to the goal, it's very important. They've got a lot of big lads out there and a lot of height and a big threat from their own set plays. So they're going to defend there, you know, our set play as well. So uh, just try something different. And that's what led to the goal. Yeah, and again, it moves you well within uh, contention. You won't look at that, but will Saturday afternoon be a nervy one when you look at scores coming in elsewhere? Uh, yeah, I'll be at a game somewhere, so uh, I won't particularly be uh, looking at them too much. Uh, but I know Extra have got promoted, uh, so the game at Northampton, I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll still have a good go because they've got a chance of winning the league. Yeah, it's uh, certainly one which will uh, affect Mansfield in all sorts of ways because everyone plays each other on Saturday afternoon as well. And with that sort of uh, Salford game being moved to the Monday, does that give you time to sort of not worry about other people and sort of let them sort of carry on and sort of give you that almost motivation to go out and say well that's what they've done here's what you need to do no I'm not a fan of moving games at this two games to go I think we all should be kicking off at the same time on a Saturday afternoon uh, I think it gives uh, it can give teams a, an unfair advantage knowing what they have to do you know especially t teams like Port Vale uh, so no I think we should all be kicking off all kicking off at the same time Stephen Quinn absent tonight what's the latest on him will he be available for Monday uh, not sure uh, he got a whack on his hip on Saturday, uh, and uh, no good, for, uh, no chance for tonight. So we'll just have to see how he uh, progresses this week. It was good to win a game without him, and I thought we missed him. I thought we missed him in the in the first half, especially just his uh, his general quality. There was, <laughs> there was a guy said to us behind the dugout, he said, "We're not very good without Quinny." Oh, I said, "No, you're right, we're not." Uh, but second half, we didn't miss him once we got the ball down and played. But again, I thought Jamie Murphy set the tone at the start of the second half with his running. Uh, he just ran without the ball, made a chance or whatever after the first 30 seconds of the second half and that set the tone and got the crowd on their feet and got us going. And I think they rarely, rarely threatened us after that. He was unplayable at times tonight. He was excellent. And you can't forget he hasn't played too much in the first half of the season. So uh, yeah, I know he's played a good few for us now. Uh, but I thought his quality was uh, was on show tonight. And of course, also quality was the, the fans tonight. Didn't allow the pantomime villain in, in some sorts to get too much of the attention and put it all on your boys. And that's what, you know, that's what we're thinking. Even those times where they were struggling a little bit in the first half, the noise was still there. Over 5,000 again tonight. Absolutely uh, wonderful crowd and wonderful noise as well and to see them all at the end. And I think they understand you have to be patient. You know, we're not going to come and just sort of smash these teams early on and they're going to rock. Teams aren't going to come here and roll over. You know, we've seen it at most of the home games recently. We're going to have to work very hard for anything that we get uh, and no different tonight. Didn't want to get distracted or, or whatever with the, you know, the former manager coming back and I don't think the team were and you can't underestimate the importance of another clean sheet tonight either. Yeah, and I thought Nathan Bishop's had very little, but he saved low down uh, to his right uh, in the first half, towards the end of the first half, was absolutely crucial as well. Uh, and I say, if we'd have given a goal away or they'd have got a goal ahead, would have really given them something to hang on to. Uh, but tonight we didn't, and, and you see the difference, you know. Getting to half time nil nil is never a bad thing. Yeah, absolutely. Three points on the board tonight. Takes you within a point of uh, that automatic places. Obviously, we go again at Salford on Monday. What's your message to the supporters tonight as they drive home? No doubt looking at the table and thinking, oh, come on. Yeah, same as us. We're, uh, we're just going to try and stay calm and not get too carried away with it. We're still not even guaranteed to be in the uh, top seven. That's how tight it is. Uh, you know, Swindon have had a great result tonight. So uh, everybody's just got to keep calm. We were a bit jittery first half. Uh, I think we need to win one out of our last two to guarantee the top seven and win both to uh, to put some pressure on Northampton, so we'll see.